Hi friends, uh, good morning. I came with a video today, how to split a transport request. For example, you created a transport request where you have saved some three to four types of configurations. Because of some urgency, you wanted to move only one related changes. Remaining, you wanted to keep on for some time. Maybe you wanted to do, do some testing or you wanted to verify certain things, but complete TR you don't want to move. It may affect something else or it may affect your configuration, you wanted to hold it, but all the changes are saved in one PR. Then how can you handle this? So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a new TR and keep those objects in the new TR. And you ask the basis to move to the quality and other systems. And this TR, you can keep it with you. Complete objects, you can keep it, or else you can delete that, whatever the TR you have split it. Let's do this in this video. I'm taking one TR for this example. There is something called vendor number range or some TR is there. Go to the TR. We can directly come here. I came to SC09 actually, SC09 and this TR. So this TR has some three configurations. One is a different condition types and different release procedure and then different number and some. So in this, case, I wanted to move only defined condition types and remaining two, I wanted to keep on hold for one or two days because I still need to do some testing. So then what we are going to do now, create a new transport request. Screens are completed. Create a new transport request. On things. GKCC. Maybe Ganesh Padala, GP. Define condition types. I want to move only this. Save it. So I wanted to take the data. So now click on include objects. Click on include objects. System will ask you which transport request from which transport request you wanted to copy. Okay, you already opened another screen from there you can do this so where is the transport request this is the transport request and this is the task the task has the object size copy the task go to import give the task here and if you want to include the documentation also you can include it copy see system has copied all the objects. Now what we are going to do, click on, double click on the TR, click on change button. Okay. For example, you wanted to keep only the data related to define condition types. Select all. Okay. What is the different condition types? So you can see here. You can check the configuration details also. Brothers, first they have done the release procedure related. So all T16 F and all different condition types. It is related to T685A table. Go to this config data t685 this is only the table which is related to condition types okay and uh, this one you can just include any data object list included and 135 from where it copied the comment if you want to include you can keep the comment then delete it okay so we have deleted the other data, only the condition type related configuration is available here. Save it. Okay. See, now the new transport request is created with only defined condition types. Here is our old transport request. The same changes you can move later also, no, no need to delete it. Okay. You can keep it same thing, but if you want to delete uh, this condition because already the TR is moved into another right. So already A plus B is moved. And in the another TR also, if you move A plus B, nothing will happen. 
So you can keep it like that or else you can delete in the similar way. You can delete this only the table data from this TR. You can go to click. You can go to this double click on this task. Okay, this this entry you can delete it also because already this is moved in another TR, right? So you can delete just to avoid your confusion. That's it. So we have split that uh, configuration into two TRs. The release procedure number ranges and all I kept in one TR because I wanted to do some more testing and I have to make some more changes and I will move maybe our next week. But uh, defined condition types is an urgent TR for you and you have to move it. So we created a new TR and this TR you will task, you will release it and then TR also you will release then give the TR to basis team to move to quality for doing that UAT, whatever you wanted to test. So I hope this video has helped you to understand if you create one TR for five, six configuration things, but only one configuration or two configurations you need to move in advance or you have to move immediately, then how to split into two TRs. I think this video has helped you. You have to do carefully what tables and all because the table level you need to verify because what configuration and all. So these kind of requests may not come frequently, but if some cases, if it comes, then uh, you can utilize this. Thanks for watching. If you came to our channel for the first time, click on subscribe button and like our videos and keep sharing to your SAP circle so that my huge efforts will be helpful to maximum people. Keep sharing our videos. Thanks for watching.